Hi! In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to build a custom map for Work Adventure. So, if you want to build your virtual office in a castle, or in the forest, or on a desert island, you are at the right place. In order to build a Work Adventure map, we are going to use Tiled. Tiled is a map editor, it is a software that you are going to download on your laptop and you will be using to build the map. Then you will need tile sets. Tile sets are the building block of your map. They are small images, small sprites, we say, like a, a small office, a small chair, stuff like that. And when you have your map file and your tile sets, we are going to upload those files. When your map is ready, you will have a map file along the tile sets, and we are going to upload those files on the web server. We are not going to upload them in Work Adventure. It is not possible we put them on a web server somewhere on the internet and Work Adventure is going to load the map from this web server. If it sounds a, a bit tricky, in fact, it is really quite simple. I'll show you how to do that in this tutorial. The Map Starter Kit is basically a small project we have that helps you getting started building a map. Let's get started. We are going to start from the Work Adventure website and in the Work Adventure website, there is a menu that is called Build Your Map and that actually contains everything I'm explaining to you in this tutorial. So in this tutorial, oh, you've got a link to the GitHub Map Starter Kit repository page. I also put the link below this video so you can find all the relevant links below this video if you want to follow along with me. So if I click here, I'm arriving on GitHub and basically GitHub is containing this test project that we will be using in order to create our work adventure map. I already have an account on GitHub. I'm already logged. If you don't have an account, you should create an account now, put the video in pause and come back when you created your account. We need it because we will be making a copy of this template into another project by clicking the use this template button that I'm going to do this right now and okay uh, so my username is move move here and I'm going to put a repository name and let's call it tutorial map uh, you can put a description one important thing to know is you need to put it public if you put it private you won't be able to use github pages later so keep it public and click on create repository from template and a few seconds later you should have your project that is a copy of the template all the files are, are here and what you can see there is this map.json file which is basically uh, containing the tiled map that we will want to edit and later display but right now, the project is on GitHub and we want to use it on our computer. So what we need to do is actually to download it. When we are using Git, we call this cloning. And in order to clone the project, we need a special piece of software on our computer, uh, which is called Git or a Git client. In this video, I'm going to use the GitHub desktop. And if you don't have GitHub desktop, you can download it from desktop.github.com so go ahead download and install github desktop and start it I'm going to start it right now here I am and what I want to do is to clone my repository it's going to search through all the repositories if you've just created a uh, your first repository should be quite fast. I've got, well, I'm a heavy GitHub user, so I've got a lot of them here. Uh, I'm simply going to look for my tutorial map and I'm going to click the clone button. And a few seconds later, cloning is done. And as you can see, I, can, I have a button show in Explorer here that will open the Windows Explorer. And my map has been, my project has been successfully downloaded. Okay, cool. So I've got a lot of project, uh, a lot of files here, but remember the one that is interesting to me is map.json. 
So I need to open this map and for that I need a map editor. So the map editor is called Tiled and you can download Tiled at mapeditor.org which is the main website for Tiled. It's open source and uh, do not hesitate to contribute by giving a few bucks to its author that is doing an amazing job maintaining this software for several years. I already have Tiled downloaded. So let's use it. So I'm going to start Tiled an application here and I'm going to open a file and basically the file I'm going to open is the one I just downloaded so it should be in documents here we are okay so this is the main interface for tile I can see my template may, um, map here and uh, if you have already been using Photoshop, you can see here a list of layers. So basically a map is made of several layers and if you press the H key, you can actually view the layer and what they contain. And the current layer will be highlighted. So for instance, this layer is containing the computers here. If I'm clicking on walls, I can see the walls and a part of the floor here. And at the bottom right, we have tile sets. Tile sets are images that contain the building blocks of your map. And tile sets, each tile, each li little building block, should be 32 by 32 pixels in Work Adventure. Okay? And you can actually load any image here. Uh, I recommend using the PNG format because if you've got tran transparency, PNG can deal with this transparency. Uh, and uh, 32 by 32 pixels and basically that's it. Um, now, one thing that is important here, there is a special layer that is called floor layer. The floor layer is compulsory when you are using work adventure. The walkers, the little characters, are going to walk on the floor layer. So everything above the floor layer will be displayed on top of the walkers. And the walkers can hide behind elements that are above the floor layer. And any element under the floor layers, the walkers will walk above. So if you want to put the floor, you need to put it under the floor layer. And if you've got a roof or something that must hide the walkers, you put it above. All right, let me show you. I'm going to modify this map. And what I'm going to do, maybe I'm going to select the furniture layer and I'll select this shelf and I'm going to put the shelf here. Okay, done. And then I'm going to save my, my work and okay. I've just saved um, my map and I modified it slightly. Of course, you can modify it absolutely completely. There are a lot of things to learn about tile and I won't dive too much into the details. There are plenty of um, tutorials on the web explaining how to build castles, how to build huge maps. Uh, don't hesitate to have a look. Uh, I'm really going to focus on what is specific to work adventure here, but there is a lot to uh, learn about tiles, so don't hesitate to, to look around on the web, there are plenty of resources. If you are looking for tile sets, you can look online, there are many sites with huge collections of free tile sets. Uh, for instance, uh, you can have a look at itch.io, which has a good collection. Do not forget to search for tile sets that are 32 by 32. Um, but as you can see, you can find uh, pretty cool collections online. So don't hesitate to look around and browse the web. Um, you will certainly find what you are looking for. So our map is ready and now we want to test it. Before uploading it to a website, what we are going to do is we are going to test it locally. And in order to test it locally in Work Adventure, what we are going to do, we are going to install a website on our machine to be able to test it quickly. This is a pro tip, you don't have to do that. 
uh, you can simply upload directly your uh, map but if you have some quite complex map it's always better to be able to test it locally because if there is any error you can change it really quickly in a more efficient way so let me show you how i'm doing that what i've been doing actually is i've been using a local web server provided by a software called node.js so the first thing you need to do is to download node uh, so you can download node at node js.org slash en slash download. The link is also just below the video. Just install it and when it is installed, what we are going to do is we are going to run uh, the web server and to do this, you need to go in command line. So I'm typing cmd and I can start the Windows command line. And now I'm going to cd into the directory so cd document cd github cd tutorial map and then i've got two commands to type you can put the pause and follow along with me the first one is npm install this one you need to run only once okay this is going to download the web server actually and when it is done i'm going to run another command which will start the web server when you are working on your map again, if you close your uh, laptop and you come back later, you only need to start the second command, which is npm run start. So let's do this. npm, sorry, npm run start. So this should open, start the web server and directly, hey, look, my website is opening. And I've got a screen that will let me test this map. So I'm going to click the test this map button. Okay. And here I am. I can test my map. And look, the shelf I've been adding is here. What is pretty cool is I can actually modify anything. Uh, for instance, I'm going to put another shelf maybe here I'm going to save it and if I go back here and I'm refreshing the page hey it's working okay so you can test your map this way and uh, when you've been when you are satisfied with the result now you can upload the changes to github back so let me show you how I'm doing that in order to upload my map, I'm going back on GitHub Desktop. And when I am in the GitHub Desktop, you can see there are a number of files that have been modified here. What I'm going to do is I'm simply going to do what we call a commit. A commit is um, uh, basically I'm acknowledging I've been doing some changes and I'm adding a small description. I've been adding shelves. I'm going to click the commit to master button and so when it's done I'm going to click the push origin which is basically the upload button. So in git you need to commit and then to push in order to upload the result. So I'm clicking the button and that should be done. Okay so I've sent everything back to github. Let's go back. the github page and you can see there is a little range dot here what is happening is that github is running a process to optimize the map okay so you just need to wait that this range button turns to green which it already did okay so it's deployed so it's a success everything has been optimized there is one last thing that we need to do and we need to do it just the first time we need to tell GitHub to expose those files on a website. And we are going to do that with GitHub pages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the settings button. And here at the bottom, there is a pages section. In this pages section, it says, it says that my website is ready to be published. Cool. And it needs to be given a source and the source is the gh pages branch always so select this click save 
and now we just need to wait about 30 seconds and in 30 seconds we are going to refresh the page and this blue box here should turn into green. Let me show you. Okay, it's already ready, it's published. So I can click this link which will guide me to my test map, actually this test page. I can test the page online. Let's try it. And this is actually working, which is pretty cool, right? Okay. And this link here, you can share it with friends and test with friends. Okay. One important thing to notice, it is starting with an underscore, so it is a test link. It is limited to 15 people. If you want to be able to add more people, what you should do is actually create a new room here that will guide you to subscribe to register proper URL for your map. This is a test URL and the create a new room button will allow you to have a dedicated URL dedicated to your room that you will be able to share with the world. Okay, and this URL will never change. Cool. Okay, so that wraps it up for this first tutorial. I hope you were able to follow along with me and that you won't have any problems designing your own maps. This is only the first step, there are a lot of additional things to, to learn. More tutorials will uh, follow and by any way, if you have any questions, you can check the Work Adventure website and the Build Your Map section that is containing a lot of different pages explaining how to build your map and how to design entries, exit, uh, how to design a meeting room or even to script your own map. If you are a JavaScript developer, you can go actually pretty far. And uh, well, I'll meet you later uh, in the next tutorial. Have fun, enjoy and goodbye.